Uh, can you just explain, you know, what is it that your company can offer? We, we offer climbing courses all, all over the world, really, but then also, also predominantly because I live down in Dorset and also in the recent couple of years, we started taking people out for cliff camping experiences. So that's having a tent on the, in the vertical world, as it, as it were. So you can have a, either a three hour experience with the sun setting or, um, or the full, if you're really, really adventurous, or the full night experience as well. So how long have you been running these? Uh... Uh, so I've been, I've been running these activities for about three years now. I've been running my own business for about 10 years and I've been climbing for uh, just over 30 years now since I was like a wee little nipper. So I've climbed all over the world actually. So um, hence where this, the port ledges, because I've gone and used port ledges um, for, for actual climbs. I'm um, over in America and all over the place. What what sort of costs are involved? Um, so uh, obviously for the full night, that's that's kind of quite expensive because I'm away from my family and, and friends. Um, so it's about six hundred pounds for the full night. So that'll be from the evening dinner and then following morning, and then just for the uh, sunset experience, then it's two two fifty for two people. And they they get a meal, is that right? Is yeah, that's it. They get um, we use uh, a really good um, we use um, over in Swanage. We can we use uh, the salt pig. So people can camp here at Portland and also yeah. So it's it anywhere in Dorset really. So yeah, Portland, Swanage. Um, we can be a bit flexible depending on what the clients are after really. Yeah. This is certainly one good way of getting away from the, the COVID uh, situation. Yeah, certainly. You can certainly, uh, as long as it, if you can either do it by yourself um, or if, uh, if, if you're in your own little bubble with a, with a partner or anything, then you can come down here. Um, and then we will basically, obviously with all the PPE and everything, that's, that's been quarantined for 72 hours beforehand. Um, and then same again afterwards as well. Um, and then, yeah, you're further enough away from me to keep you, keep yourselves away from me as well. So, yeah, yeah. And, and what do you think of the experience? You've obviously done it a number of times. Yeah, so I, th I think it's amazing being, being out in this amazing environment um, and then having a bit of peace and quiet to yourself. Um, you can switch your mobile phones off, which is amazing. Um, and then, uh, yeah, being in, like, having the ability to look up at the stars and seeing an amazing sunset. Like, like we had last night is just phenomenal. You can't, you can't really get that in well, so many other places really for that, yeah, fairly accessible as well. Uh, in terms of sort of setting up the ropes and, yeah. and the, the safety sort of situation, how, yeah. how long does it take you to set up all the ropes? Uh, we, we were working with the BB, um, BBC this morning, it um, was a bit, very, very unique. So it took me about an hour and a half. Normally it only takes about half an hour, 40 minutes to, to set everything up. Thank you.